Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here and in today's video we are checking out the season 5 changes for Ibuki and Ibuki got changed quite a bit, most of her changes are geared toward V trigger 1 and making her neutral a little bit better. The first change is that they made her standing heavy bunch 2 frames faster. So this is now 10 frames, her standing heavy bunch actually had good range and of course Ibuki's main wave punish tool were her crouching medium bunch but the standing heavy bunch have longer range so from a distance like that the crouching medium would whiff but the standing heavy would also obviously connect obviously the standing heavy by itself is unsafe it is minus 5 but you can always cancel it into the kunai to make it safe at minus 2 so that is a really good buff should help out in her neutral game a little bit and obviously Ibuki have a really fast walk speed, so having a 10 frame with punish, that's actually pretty nice. The other change to Ibuki is to her target combo, the crouching medium to forward heavy target combo. Um, they, made, they made it easier to cancel into the forward heavy kick, now she have more time to do the target combo, so this is easier to hit confirm now, and they also increased the recovery on hit of the target combo by 5 frames. So this is actually pretty good if you are a V Trigger 2 user with Ibuki because now with V Trigger 2 previously you had to do you had to throw the kunai and then do this target combo right and then you would follow up with a neutral jumping heavy kick and continue the combo from there that was her maximum damage combo so now you actually get to do it easier because of the increased recovery on the target combo Previously you had to manual time delay the forward heavy kick, but now it's actually really easy to do. As you can see now the combo is a lot easier. Of course it's gonna be better if you didn't like do a 10,000 hit before it, so for example if I do something like this. Right, you are gonna do a lot of damage. Obviously that combo is harder to get on crouching opponents so you actually have to be careful of that as well. Before this was even harder to do on crouching, now it's a little bit easier to do on crouching opponents but on crouching opponents in general that maximum damage combo is difficult. But against standing opponents you should find it way easier to get it now, right? So you shall, you shall find this a lot easier now. So that is the first change. The second change is a universal one and that is to her uh, float or glide thing. Now if Ibuki gets anti-aired she will be put in a juggle state. Again this is a universal nerf, a universal change. It's kind of important for Ibuki because you could use this to escape the corner but now if you got anti-aired by a medium or a heavy you will be in a juggle state and um, it could be problematic. So that is a, an unfortunate nerf. The other changes are to her V trigger 1 and they changed it quite a bit with V trigger 1. So let me pick V trigger 1 now. Um, the first change you will notice is that the bomb has a hitbox as it is as the book is throwing it. So notice that there is a hit there, right? And um, this is good and bad. The good thing about it is that of course it will allow for resets and all of that. But the bad part is that it means that on activation, Ubuki is always plus 8. Previously, you could do something like this. Right, and that was a combo. But since the standing heavy bunch is 10 frames, and the hit of the bomb is guaranteeing that Ubuki will always be plus 8, you don't get to do that now. You kind of have to change your roots now, maybe do something like this. Or like uh, maybe standing light kick. Let, let's check out what we can do here. Actually, I'm interested to see what she can do at this point. Hmm. Seems like if you do this, you are a little bit out of range. So obviously, you'll have to change your combo roots, right? Uh, this is a slight nerf in my opinion, and obviously, they also uh, reduced the explosion damage. So I'm sure there will be more setups to this, but you have to be aware that the, 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 the box itself having a head box is gonna change the setups that you used to know. So for example, for me, someone who haven't really played Ibuki that much since season 1 or season 2, this is a big change. Uh, 
And again, they also reduce the damage on the V trigger bomb from 120 to 100, so that is kind of unfortunate. They also changed the input, so uh, before when you do the forward plus V trigger, you would get the bomb that would take a long time to explode. Now that is up plus V trigger, right? So this now is the bomb that will take a long time to explode. And the, in, in, instead of it, they added a new one, and that is forward plus V trigger, which will explode right away. This is actually kind of cute, because you can use this one as an anti-air. So for example, you will have your opponent jumping in here. And then you get to juggle super or whatever. So it's actually, it, this, uh, this one actually kind of have cute utilities. And I'm sure there will be a, all, all sorts of set play and setups for that. Ibuki is a very set play heavy character. So I'm sure the Ibuki community will come out with new mix-ups and new scenarios for this V-Trigger. Something that you kind of have to consider also is that... Um, obviously her V-Trigger 1 was a... or V-Trigger 2 was a very strong V-Trigger. But I imagine now that thanks to V-Shift... This is gonna be a little bit weaker. I mean, you could of course obviously do stuff like that, side switch and all of that with it. With V-Shift, that stuff could be weaker. So I do see the potential for V-Trigger 1 making a return, so at least you get to use it twice. And obviously they gave it the buff of being able to use it as an anti-air. So maybe, but obviously we'll have to wait and see. Ubuki in general is also one of the characters who might actually get nerfed quite a bit by the V-Shift because she has heavy reliance on 50-50 side switch mix-ups. And that is pretty much it for Ibuki. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. It helps the channel so much. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.